now we will solve problems on tangents and secants over here you can see there are only secants a tangent is a line which touches only one part of the circle and never comes inside the circle in the sense now this is not a tangent neither this is not even this you know it should not be inside it should be just that it touches one point now i'm sorry for my drawing over here but i am trying to say that it this is really not a tangent but what i'm trying to say is it just touches one point and never any other point of the circle but a secant is a line which cuts the circle this is easy to differentiate now to solve these problems you must remember the formula of secant the the angle over here or over here there's a formula now they are asked to measure the angle 2 this is the angle 2 now it is this particular angle can be solved with the information of these two arcs now it says that half of the sum of these two that is 30 plus 55 would be this particular angle even the this angle is same because they are vertical angles these both will be the same angle if you are to solve this it's half of sum of these two or any anything you know both these angles will be same because they are vertical opposite angles now over here half of 30 plus 55 30 plus 55 is 85 and half of 85 is 42.5 so that will be the answer same way you can solve other problems they are very very simple now over here you can see they have asked you to find the measure of arc gs gh but they have given this angle so we know this particular angle say 45 degrees is obtained by using the formula half of 28 plus this arc gh so i will write it as x so now if i solve this i will get the answer you can solve it directly in your calculator using equation because the first part one and part two is just mcqs directly put this as unknown variable and solve it or what you can do is simplify this take 2 to the other side will become 90 equals 28 plus x now you need only x so take this 28 to the other side it will be 90 minus 28 that is 62 equals x so this particular arc is 62 degrees so that's how please do try this and compare the answers now over here it's same thing you just find this angle say you, you over here when you solve you will get 43 so now this is 43 but the problem is not over because they want this particular measure and you can see this is a straight line so angles in a straight line sum up to be supplementary or 180 degrees so i know this is 43 subtracted from 180 180 minus 43 will be the remaining angle why because the total is always 180 and i found out one of the angle is 43 what is the remaining angle subtract it you will get the answer it's 137 so it's very simple and now this is the answers of the previous problems there is one more type what if there are tangents okay they have told assume the segments that appear to be tangents are tangents see now if it looks like a tangent see this is supposed to look like a tangent that means it's a tangent so it's coming out at the end of the circle right so they are all tangents now how do we solve this there is a formula for this now over here it's a very simple one it's half always half the angles will be half of the arcs but you see a tangent and a secant then just half of this arc arc would be the answer so half of 168 is the answer that's it now over here measure of angle 3 is half of this big arc nothing else because this is a tangent and this is a secant the formula states half of the arc will be this particular angle that is formed with the secant and the tangent that's that's how we solve it now they have asked to find the arc of rt whereas they have given this particular angle now it's very obvious you just multiply this by two because half of the arc would be this particular angle now 74 multiplied by 2 would be the answer it'll be 150 minus 2 is 148 yes so that would be the answer and i hope it is clear it is okay now i will just quickly solve this one 
it's all same but they have just given the the given values are different now over here you need to you, you have been uh, you have to find this particular angle that is measure of angle 6 but this particular arc is unknown but you know this side so how much is the total angle of a uh, circle if you think you will remember it's 360 degrees so now one part half the some part of the circle is 160 so the remaining must be 360 minus 160 that would be 200 so whatever is remaining over here is 200 so now half of 200 would be the answer so that is 100 degrees half of 200 so you can directly put this half of 360 degrees the total circle minus 160 that would give you this answer so that's how you can solve please do solve it by yourself and then double check the answers